Hi everyone, as we move closer to February, we move closer to Valentine's Day. Uh, Valentine's Day is not a big day for me. Um, I don't really care about it that much other than the fact that it tells me that I am going to be cooking. Um, I have five clients and one of them was lucky enough to reserve me uh, prior to this uh, event coming up in February. And the way that usually works is everyone says, well, you know, you're a private chef. I have a full-time job. That's what I do. That's my, my, my job is uh, law enforcement. That's what I do every day. But this is kind of something on the side. And the way I can explain it to you is um, um, in Connecticut, there are some eccentric and some well-known people. And... Uh, they don't like to be bothered by the public. Whenever they go out in public, they're usually uh, mobbed. Uh, they are, you would, you would know who they were. Anyway, they have beautiful homes. They live here in Connecticut. And sometimes uh, they will have me uh, come over and make a special meal for them. I'm not a caterer. I don't bring food to them, make it here and travel it and heat it up and, and I give it to them. I ask them what they want and they choose from a menu. This is one of only five menus in the world that I created, and it's uh, four pages long. And um, they'll pick something from here and uh, ask me to come over and make it. And this is, they'll tell me how many guests they have, and it's really nice because I'll go over there, I'll pick up the ingredients, I'll go over there, I'll cook there. Uh, they have beautiful homes, beautiful kitchens, and I kind of, it's just pretty much laid back. I'll sit there and I'll have, um, have some wine and I'll talk to them and they'll kind of browse around the kitchen and they'll be picking at things and eating different things and it's very relaxing and uh, very discreet and when I'm done I uh, clean up and I'm out of there. So uh, I am going to take one thing from this menu. I'm not going to share the menu with you only because um, it's taken me a long, long time to create this and, and you'll never see anything like this. Uh, that's what makes it so special and that's what makes it so unique. Um, sometimes some of the dishes in here take a while to cook uh, or take a while to prepare. In other words, getting the ingredients. Uh, if they want an alligator dish, I've got to get the alligator from a farm I have down in Louisiana. If they're looking for uh, pork steaks, then I have to get some from Ohio from a very special estate. And uh, I also have connections for a Kobe beef that's dry aged and uh, that's in Australia and that has to be flown FedEx overnight to me. So what, depending on what they pick is what I cook. So anyway, um, I am going to pick one thing out of here and it's going to be a pasta dish and I think it's perfect for us for Valentine's Day. And it's going to be uh, the uh, lobster with garlic parmesan. And we're going to do that. I'm going to make it a little bit healthier for us. Uh, I'm going to mix the uh, pasta. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to use zoodles instead. I don't, I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm not a big fan of zoodles, but I'm doing it for you guys so that you can uh, recreate it at home for someone you love. And then tomorrow will be another special dish, and it'll be a lobster tail that'll be... Um, uh, I'm going to steam it in champagne, and then I'm going to uh, serve that with a filet mignon and uh, some uh, baked potato on the side. So uh, we'll, we'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, tonight uh, I have to start prepping it, and I have to start cooking it, and uh, I'm going to get to it. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's easy and that uh, you guys are comfortable doing it. And uh, I think I can make it pretty simple. So um, let's get to it. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to start a small pot. You can see it's not a very big one. A small pot of uh, water. And I actually want to get that down to a slow simmer. So I'm going to turn the, the gas down on that. And I'm going to let this get to a slow simmer because we're going to need that to uh, poach the lobster. and. Uh, We'll get to that in a second. I've got some uh, shallots here and what I want to do is just kind of chop those up a little bit. Okay, we're going to take a half of a lemon. 
that easy? All right, so in the little pot that we have simmering, we've got water that is obviously simmering. I'm going to add about um, three or four bay leaves. I'm going to take that lemon that we cut in half and I'm just going to quarter it. I'll put the lemon in there. And then I'm going to take six ounces of lobster. Um, this is mainly uh, claws, some tail, and uh, knuckles. You can either get a lobster or steam it or have it steamed for you and, and shuck it yourself. Or you can buy the meat already done. But however you want to do it, this is my six ounces. And I'm going to put it in there for about five minutes. Now as that's simmering for five minutes, I'm just kind of lightly poaching it. And when it comes out at the end of five minutes, I'm going to want to drop it right into an ice bath to stop the cooking and to uh, chill that lobster out. In the meantime, uh, let's start making the sauce. It's been five minutes, so I'm just going to take that lobster out. Beautiful, beautiful lobster. I'm going to leave the lemon and the bay leaves behind to be discarded. Now to that same pot that I just used and clean, I am putting it back on the burner and turning it up to a medium heat. I'm going to use about uh, I don't know, a tablespoon, maybe a little bit less of uh, olive oil. And I'm going to let that get warm. And to that, I'm going to drop in uh, about two tablespoons of shallots and about two or three teaspoons of minced garlic. And I'm just going to let that uh, simmer up. All right, let's get those shallots in. This is such a simple dish, but it has such a wow factor in taste and uh, presentation, at least when you, you do it the way I'm used to doing it. I've never done it the healthy version before or the somewhat healthy version. Healthier. And I'm going to throw the garlic in there. I'm just going to stir that up under medium heat, medium low. Oh. This, this is, uh, it, I just almost looked over my shoulder. This is the, uh, the scent that usually brings people in from another room where they're like, wow, what is that? What are you doing? So I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes. You want to keep an eye on this. You don't want it to brown too much. You don't want to burn it. Burnt garlic equals bad food. So I'm going to throw in two tablespoons of butter to that. And that is just going to uh, lend a, uh, uh, a silkiness to it. And, just, and the heat's down the low now. And I just am going to want that butter to kind of blend in there. I'm going to add... <clears throat> one and a half cups of heavy cream. This is really the only, other than the butter, this is the only other unhealthy part to this whole thing. And I'm also going to add just a pinch of nutmeg and a uh, pinch of ground uh, rosemary. And I'm going to let that simmer on low for right around five minutes. Right now that's good to just sit there and uh, hang out for about five minutes under low heat. All right, so here I've got a zucchini. I am not a big, I like zucchini, but I'm not a big fan of zucchini noodles. I'm not a big zoodle eater. Um, I did uh, have 
Zoodles when I was doing the ideal program or ideal protein program and uh, it was something I could have other than pasta but I really do prefer pasta but anyway I've got this really cheap uh, spiralizer and I'm just going to try to make some long strands here I've turned a zucchini into noodles, but uh, I'm basically just going to break it apart a little bit here. It's very wet. Um, so I think I don't want big, big strands. I want to be able to pick this up with a fork without making a huge mess. So. I've never done this dish with zoodles before, so I really don't know what to expect. Anyway, I'm going to take these and I'm going to get them into a skillet. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to them and I'm going to try to dry them out a little bit. Well, I have a nice and hot skillet. so I'm just going to try to throw some of these zoodles into here. And to that, like I said, I'm going to add some salt. And a little bit of pepper. And maybe just a little bit of olive oil. go for a while and see where it takes us. Meantime the sauce has simmered down so I'm just going to give this a taste. Okay it's, it's pretty good but it needs salt. So I'm going to put a little bit of salt in. I'm also thinking um, I want to put some tarragon in there. Just a little bit. And it's all in the the tasting. And you can season this however you want. I mean when you're tasting this you can sit there and say you know what it needs a little bit of this, it needs a little bit of that. Now for me now a little bit of black pepper and that'll be perfect. Okay, I'm going to dip a quarter cup in there. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in with the zoodles. It smells amazing. I'm going to add a little bit more of that. And I'm going to put some of the larger pieces right in the sauce here. I'm going to save one or two pieces here for uh, decoration. Out of this, I'm going to fish out those pieces. Some of them. Yeah, 
and I'm going to add some parm cheese. I pretty much have taken the zoodles out, placed them on the plate, added a little bit of sauce, and I'm just going to bring it over to the counter now. Now that I have it plated, I'm going to take another piece of lemon and just put that over the top. And clean up the edge of the plate a little bit here. This is a lot more um, watery than I'm used to. I usually go crazy with the cream and add all kinds of cheeses and other fats to it. But we're trying to make it so that we can have it. And I'm just going to flake a little bit of parm cheese on there. And uh, a little bit of lemon. And I'm just going to top it with just a touch of black pepper. There you have it. That's my uh, version for the group of the garlic parmesan lobster spaghetti using zoodles instead of uh, pasta and uh, reducing a lot of the cream and a lot of the cheese and other things. But uh, I think this is going to be uh, pretty tasty in itself and I'm going to give it a shot right now. Let's just see if we can grab a little bit of this. <laughs> oh, the zoodles are not fun. Well, the idea was there, but the execution might not be, uh, might be a little off. All right. Mm. Mm. Love the lobster. The sauce, even though it's a reduced fat version, um, still complements everything. Uh, it's kind of got a green color, <laughs> which I'm never used to. Um, it's from the zucchini. But the, uh, the taste is there. It might be a little difficult to eat um, with the zoodles, but I mean, how can you fault lobster? It's uh, mm. and you can see I used a cup and a half of heavy cream. There has to be at least a cup and a quarter still in there. Um, so we didn't have all of that. Usually you'll get the pasta and you put that in the sauce and you kind of run it around through the sauce and you take it out and spiral it and place it on the plate. But this is, uh, this is excellent. This is full of flavor. Um, great taste. Um, something romantic, something light that you can uh, give to someone you love. The, uh, the zoodles are not bad. Um, kind of long. But uh, that's because we're trying to watch the carbs, right? And I mean, it's... It's what it is. It's a healthier version. So please give it a try. If you don't, I don't blame you. But it's expensive. But if you don't mind the zoodles, and uh, give it a shot. 
And some people were wondering how uh, to get on to uh, uh, see the other videos that I make. And now that you're here, you're here at YouTube. This is where I download them. Just look for my link down there, Brown Trout Films, and uh, click on the subscribe button, and uh, you'll be able to find all the videos right there. Tomorrow it's going to be uh, champagne steamed lobster tail with filet mignon and a potato. So uh, check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching.